Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 58 for learning management system in uh, Django with React JS. In the previous video, video number 57, I have uh, created the my courses, I have completed the my courses section. Okay, I have uh, not uploaded this video yet. Uh, I am uploading the video number 57, 58 soon. Okay, uh, but I have created. Okay, so uh, in the 15, um, uh, video number 58, I mean to say in this video, we will work on the recommended courses okay currently we are skipping this favorite courses because for the favorite courses uh, we need to work on the front end on the detail page here okay we will add here the heart icon then we will uh, first of all we will record the uh, favorite course from the student and then we will show in their dashboard okay so i will do that in the next video so let's uh, work on the recommended courses so uh, what's the logic behind the recommended courses? So what I will do, uh, I will, uh, uh, if student enrolled in the courses, like uh, if student uh, has enrolled in any courses, then we will show uh, related to that uh, courses, you know, the, uh, the categories according to that categories and we will show other courses. If not, then we will show the latest courses, right, according to their skill okay according to their skill uh, we will show the recommend actually we will show the recommended courses according to their skill okay so let's uh, do so let's do uh, let's open the uh, here we have a my series uh, my courses we will say uh, recommended courses right so let's uh, copy this all thing and what we have name here recommended huh? So I will say, I'll just paste it here. Okay, so I'll just paste it here, right? And uh, also here. So now it's a uh, my courses section. Currently it's a my courses section. Okay, here also we need to add a link. I forgot to give a link. Uh, we need to give a link for the teacher, right? If you go here and then we click on this uh, teacher detail, then it will go to the teacher detail, right? so teacher detail huh? so teacher and detail so copy this and in the my course section we can give that so i'll copy it here and paste it here right so teacher detail huh? uh, teacher id uh, this right so here we have a uh, not here in the my courses here you can see that in the teacher detail right I uh, will copy this in the same as a okay we don't need in the recommended courses we just need to show the course name right so course name and we can also show uh, what we have in the course or uh, text okay so our skill match with the text right so we will show according to that hmm? so recommended courses that course title and then we will say uh, course text right so here we have oh this is my courses recommended courses python and django right so one thing more we have tech list actually we will show the tech list okay so course dot tech list actually okay so it's not fetching the data tech list okay so uh, did i add it in the serializer mm, where it is uh, course serializer course serializer yes i have added that but it is not fetching model split and uh, okay no problem we will just uh, show the text okay not in a link as a normal text so row dot course dot text okay technologies so this course which technology is uh, you know responsible for this uh, course so we can say technologies technologies spelling mistake yes here right now we need to filter this 
uh, I will show this according to the student skill. If you go to the model and uh, let's say we have here the interested categories. Okay. So which, what categories I'm interested. So I will match this interested category with the uh, course tech list. Right. So in the recommended courses, I'll say fetch recommended courses. Right. So let's go to the uh, URL and here we will copy this fetch. Uh, we will simply say recommended courses and we will say uh, student ID of uh, we will say um, we need to define some other level thing let's say let's say we have like this student id recommended hmm? or what should we do we can change the name like this we can also do this so if the student id is like this then we will fetch the recommended courses we'll copy this paste it here and this is the student id and the student id if like this then we will fetch the recommended courses right so student id student is this student en enrollment so student uh, not here course tax equal to uh, course text in student dot interested categories hmm? so student dot interested categories okay so the text is or we can say i contains okay so student text i contains student interested categories right so we don't need this okay so it will fetch all the data which contains the uh, interested categories so let's fetch this let's see this what it's fetching and what it's giving if we run this uh, here we have a response is uh, nothing and request what we are requesting header recommended courses we can return the query also or we can print the query let's say mm, print query set equal to this so query set dot query mm. so we are not returning anything we are just printing okay so let's print this query is not callable what it is okay so select main student id is this main course where main course tech like php main course tech like php laravel okay whatever we have it, it it should fetch this okay so inner join actually we are joining the course let's fetch from the course not in the enrolled courses fetch from the course return qs right refresh the page what we have now response cannot resolve course into course field okay actually this should be tech contains tech i contains okay now what we have 200 okay uh, tech i contains interested categories 
now let's print this qs dot query hmm. uh, refresh the page here and let's see select main course main course is main course this 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 description from main course where main course tech like php laravel okay so we don't have any courses like related to php and laravel let's see python php skills so tech yes we have a tech a php laravel we have so it's not fetching the data right okay or we can say tech in hmm. let's see now no it's not fetching the data let's see where's the issue okay so i have found the solution for our recommended courses okay so let's see what i have changed so first of all i have changed the position of this uh, uh, function okay from our uh, before it was in the enrolled courses now it is in a course list uh, now it is in course list and uh, similarly we have changed the url i have defined here the course list okay so what we have changed uh, we know that our student interested categories are uh, saved as a comma separated value so what i have done uh, i have created a i have created a queries okay so i have created a uh, i am just fetching the data right here i have a, a, a for loop with a for loop i am adding the queue okay what this queue will be do it will we can add with the help of a queue we can uh, you know uh, perform the or operation or and operation I have imported this here okay from the DB models right and after that okay after that I am fetching one of the value so that if if uh, it has no more than one value then it should uh, uh, work for one value okay I am fetching one of the value and then okay and then I am uh, fetching it will override the query variable with the help of for loop in the for loop I am concatenating with the or condition right and then we are passing in the filter so it will fetch the data and it's uh, fetch with the end ends uh, ends with okay so it means it will add a percentage start with this value okay and then it will fetch other data right so let's see uh, we have uh, this data right so currently uh, our category is mainly in the php and laravel so that it is fetching data related to that right so we have uh, completed our recommended courses in the next video we will work on the favorite course and the profile setting etc okay so thank you so much for watching this video uh, i hope uh, you are enjoying and you are learning lots of things from this uh, series thank you